Thinking of learning Angular in 2025? You've probably heard the rumors. Angular is outdated. React has taken over. Or Vue is easier to learn. But is Angular really dead? Or is it silently powering the apps behind billion-dollar companies? In today's video, we're diving deep into whether Angular is still worth learning in 2025. We'll break down the job market, real-world use cases, how it compares to React and Vue, and what the future holds for this Google-backed framework. If you're a developer stuck on what to learn next, this one's for you. Despite all the noise, Angular isn't going anywhere. In fact, it's thriving, especially in enterprise-level apps. Fortune 500 companies still rely heavily on Angular for its structure, scalability, and built-in tools like routing, HTTP services, and form handling. Plus, Angular is still actively maintained by Google, with new updates like signals, standalone components, and deferrable views that improve performance and developer experience. Now let's talk jobs. Angular might not win the popularity contest like React, but it's still in high demand, especially in sectors that value stability and maintainability. Think enterprise, finance, healthcare, and government projects. In 2025, Angular developers in the U.S. earn $90,000 to $150,000 per year on average. And in countries like India, Germany, and Australia, demand is rising, not falling. Let's do a quick comparison. Angular, React, and Vue all have their strengths. Angular is opinionated and complete, great for large teams and complex apps. React is flexible, fast, and backed by Meta, perfect for quick iterations in startups. Vue is lightweight and beginner-friendly, ideal for quick MVPs and freelancers. But here's the twist. Angular's structure, TypeScript-first approach, and RxJS make it a better long-term bet if you're aiming for high-paying enterprise roles. Is Angular hard to learn? Short answer, yes, but that's also its strength. If you're coming from Java or CR, Angular feels familiar. The use of TypeScript, dependency injection, and modular architecture makes it incredibly scalable. And the Angular CLI automates 80% of your dev tasks. But yes, it's not for weekend hackers. Angular requires commitment. But once you master it, you're prepared to build serious applications. Here's where Angular gets exciting. In 2025, Angular introduced Signals, a better, cleaner way to handle reactive state. Standalone components, no need for Eng modules. Zoneless Angular, experimental, but promises better performance and easier debugging. New testing tools, moving away from Karma to faster modern tools like Vitest and Jest. And that's just the beginning. Angular's roadmap is aggressive. The goal is to make it simpler, faster, and more developer-friendly. So who should learn Angular in 2025? You should, if you want to. Build enterprise-grade apps with long life cycles. Work in structured teams with defined architecture. Handle complex forms, SPAs, and data-heavy applications. Future-proof your skills for scalable, maintainable development. Angular may not be trendy, but it's battle-tested. If your goal is to work on serious, large-scale apps or land enterprise-level jobs, Angular is 100% worth learning in 2025. Yes, it has a steeper learning curve. No, it's not the most hyped framework. But in terms of career stability, long-term ROI and developer tools, Angular is still a champion. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Stallions Technologies for more insights into the world of tech.